Okay, so what had happened was, last night I tried to do this juice review, but I was doing it in the dark because we had a power outage on our block. So I tried to do it and it didn't really come out that good. It was super, super dark. You couldn't really see anything. I couldn't even read the labels. So we're gonna do it again. I've already wet the wicks on these already just last night. So I'm just gonna re-drip on them. I didn't get really to, to get into the review or to really get into the flavors because I was so worried about not having lights and if you could see and everything else. So I'm gonna just do it all over again. The only difference is, is that they've already been dripped once, but I already forgot what the flavors were because I wasn't, I was really concentrating on trying to get my power back on. So we're gonna go ahead and go over the lifted line. These were sent to me from Biblio.com. If you use the code Wendy20, you get 20% off of anything on the website. And I have cloud cake here. Then I also have, this one is the Ashant. This one was the one that I, and I guessed it. It's so funny because I actually guessed what this was. And then Pineapple Express. So again, these are from the Lifted line. These are 7030 VGPG. They do come in zero, three, and six milligrams of nicotine and are $24.99. Again, use Wendy 20 and you get 20% off. So let's go ahead and get started. So this one here, which was the Ashant, uh, this one was really weird for me because I was trying to place the flavors. I couldn't read the description. First of all, on the Viblio website, I didn't find a description. And then trying to read it um, on the bottle and try to figure it out, it was really, really tough. But I did actually nail it. Um, I said that it was kind of floral and I said that it has like um, a tea kind of vibe to it. And actually the description is, every so often a flavor comes along and changes everything. We have discovered a secret hibiscus raspberry nectar that only hummingbirds can pull from the flowers. Delicious beyond imagination, taste the ambrosia from heaven itself. I actually guessed it. I was so proud of myself because I had no clue what it was. So I can smell the hibiscus, but it was like kind of confusing because it was like the raspberry was there and uh, yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and re-drip it. And we're gonna taste this again, brand new because yeah, I, I just, I was so excited. I'm trying to do something during the power outage. So let me just turn that back up. And let's go ahead and have a vape. This gave me like a tea vibe and it still does. I taste the hibiscus, which I didn't even know that that's what it was. And so I was like, it's kind of floral, but it's not like I'm eating a plant or a flower, but it's got that floral tone, sort of like a tea, which it does. But that raspberry picks it up and makes it just such a smooth, like refreshing tea type of vape. It's like a raspberry tea and hibiscus maybe. I do like this flavor. It was actually like, I was actually thinking about it all night because I was like, wow, that's such a unique flavor. If you like tea type flavors, if you like raspberry type flavors, this is probably gonna be one that you'll like. But I did guess it, so I'm kind of proud of myself. So that was the Ashant. The next one we're actually gonna be doing is the Pineapple Express. Now the Pineapple Express, I'm gonna actually turn it up a little bit. This one is, is um, the description is teleport yourself to an island far, far away into a world of big surf and bikini babes with, the, with not a cubicle in sight. And oh yes, pineapples, mouthwatering pineapples flowing with juicy flavor, sweet and tart as your taste buds transport you to an island bliss, escape the paradise and find the great happiness in this little bottle. Now this one, I definitely tasted pineapple. I, I definitely taste the pineapple. The only thing is, is that it's not a, like a in your face pineapple. If you like light pineapple flavors, I think this is it. To me, it's more tart than sweet. 
you get a little bit of sweetness on the end and the aftertaste, but during the vape, you're, it's more tart to me than it is sweet. So it's not like an overly sweet, juicy pineapple. It's more like a tart pineapple. It's really good, but it's not an in-your-face pineapple. Like this is something you could definitely vape all day because it's not overly sweet, it's not overly tart, and it's like a mellow pineapple. I would I would have thought it would have been a stronger pineapple, but it's not. It's actually a mellower pineapple. But if you like pineapple, you'll definitely like that one. And that one was the Pineapple Express. And last but not least, this one I could not see to drip for shit last night. So yeah, we're definitely going to be trying this one again, which is probably the reason why I wanted to try this. This one is the Cloud Cake. And this one, the description is, the flavor is so rich and creamy, you will immediately feel guilty like you just faced a whole gallon of cake batter ice cream. But fret not, my friend. You're vaping on the finest ingredients this planet Earth has to offer. So let the inner fat kid out and satisfy the sweet tooth. Jump into the cloud cakes with all the calorie, without all the calories and shame. Now, I actually had this one on my Rebirth RTA, or RDA. And yeah, it wasn't even fully saturated, see? Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and saturate that and get this booming because, yeah. I definitely, I definitely tasted like a cake with no frosting. That I remember. Um, but I didn't realize that it was like cake batter because I didn't have it fully saturated. So yeah, so hence the reason why that review is not up and this one's being redone. So let me go ahead and drip that one. Oh, and I couldn't see the airflow either. I couldn't see to put on the airflow. I was like so pissed. <laughs> so let's go ahead and turn this one up. Okay, so let's taste it again. Definitely get the cake batter. I'm sorry if you hear lawnmowers in the background. Um, my lawn is being done, so I can't argue about that. So I'm gonna actually do the vaping and the reviews while the lawnmower is going. <laughs> I definitely taste the cake batter. It's cake without frosting, but so it's not overly sweet. Like frosting is like too sweet for me. Even for regular cakes when I'm eating it, I really don't eat the frosting too much. I actually concentrate more on the cake. It's like, um, it's not a fluffy cake because it is more of a cake batter flavor. So you're getting that. I just don't taste ice cream. I don't taste like a cake batter ice cream. I taste more of like the cake batter. But on a good note, this could definitely be an all day vape for me because it's not overly sweet and I like the flavor of that cake. It doesn't have like any other flavors in it, any fruits or anything. It's just basically like a vanilla cake batter. And I really do like this one, which is another reason why I wanted to get back to it and try it again. Very, very good flavor very very good flavor i like that for an all-day vape because i i still get that cake but it's not an overwhelming cake or an overwhelming sweetness to it so that was the lifted line again by biblio.com and um out of my favorites out of this i'm gonna have to say the cloud cake then the ashanti and then the pineapple the pineapple i wish that it was more of a sweet juicy pineapple but it's more of a tart pineapple for me so that's that's why that's in that order um, but yeah, I had a sneezing attack, so sorry. Um, yeah, so again, biblio.com, Wendy20 will get you 20% off. And I will leave the link right down here. And um, yeah, that's it for my review. If you like the review, please give it a thumbs up because it does help me out. And I will see you in the next one.